Hi, I'm Judy Irving, and I made the movie The Wild Parrots of Telegraph Hill. I'm Mark Bittner. I'm the subject of the film, in part, and I wrote a book called The Wild Parrots of Telegraph Hill. And this is seeing you all. They're tough, scrappy little birds, and they're very, very intelligent, and they bring huge amounts of joy to people. They are also a way in to the rest of the natural world, and a way in to native species of birds that may not be quite as colorful as parrots, because they're loud, and they're colorful, and they're funny. They attract attention. And then once you get into the parrots, then maybe you start looking around a little bit more, and you see the house sparrows and the finches, and you see the bluebirds, and you see the mi you start to see the migrating birds. You see the hawks. There's a tremendous amount of life, natural life, in the city that the parrots wake awaken people to. If somebody had told me what I was going to be doing. I would have been dismayed <laughs> if you know if there was a fortune teller able to predict what I was going to be doing. It would have been such a bring down for me. But you mean when you were a, a would be musician? Yeah, when I was, well, I wanted to be an artist. An artist didn't go around messing with nature and birdies and stuff. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it, that's a silly attitude, but it's, it's really prevalent. Um, the, the thing that I, the thing that I got from the whole thing was to understand how every living creature has a life and has a death they are as concerned with life and death as we are. Maybe not intellectually, but we, uh, our brains are sort of overdeveloped. We think too much. And they don't philosophize about death, but they fear it. So every living thing is like that. And the more intelligent, the more highly developed the intelligence, I suppose, the more one worries about death. I would say that um, the thing I'm, I'm happiest about that people take away from the film is a new understanding of the links between people and animals. And that link is consciousness. Uh, they take away a broader understanding of the world. A lot of people, particularly in cities, tend to be anthropocentric. In other words, it's all about people. A lot of the art world, particularly in New York, is all about people. A lot of literature is all about people. But there's a big world out there, and we're only one species. So what I like about uh, people who've seen the film is that they, they get that, and they start looking around, and they're maybe they're not so lonely anymore, maybe they're not so depressed because they realize that they share the world with all these fabulous species and all they have to do is start looking around.